Hello and welcome to Technofide. In this video, we are going to be talking about Zoom, what is it and how to use it. So let's go ahead and start the video. Let's go ahead and open Play Store, go to the search bar and search for Zoom. After we search for Zoom, you can see that Zoom Workplace will appear. Go ahead and tap Install. Talking about Zoom, it is a leading video conferencing app that allows people to connect and collaborate online. Whether you're hosting a business meeting, attending a virtual class or catching up with friends, Zoom makes it easy to connect from anywhere. It supports video, audio and chat communications, making it versatile for famous needs. So, from small groups discussions to larger webinars, Zoom is available for all. Some of the key advantages of Zoom is user-friendly interface. Zoom is designed with simplicity in mind. Joining or hosting a meeting is straightforward even for those who aren't tech savvy. You can start a meeting with just a few clicks. It has cross-device compatibility. It works seamlessly across multiple devices including PC, smartphones and tablets. This ensures that you can join meetings whether you're at desk or on the go or working from home. It gives you high quality video and audio. It delivers SD video and clear audio providing a professional experience even with lower bandwidth connections. This is crucial for maintaining communication quality during important meetings. The scalability, whether it's one-on-one -on -one chat or a large event with thousands of participants, Zoom scales effortlessly. It's perfect for everything from small team meetings to major webinars and conferences. The versatile features, some of the Zoom packed features like screen sharing which allows you to share presentations or documents in real time, virtual background so you can customize your backdrop breakout rooms for smaller group discussions and recording options so you can save meetings for later review. The robust security. Zoom offers strong security features including end-to-end -end encryption, password protection and waiting rooms, ensuring that your meetings are safe and private. It's designed to protect your data and privacy while allowing for seamless communication. Let's go ahead and open Zoom Workplace. As soon as you open Zoom Workplace, you will see three types of options, join a meeting, sign up and sign in. If you want to quickly join a meeting, just go ahead and tap on join a meeting, write down the meeting ID, you can write down your name, you can click on join with a personal link name, write down the link over here or paste the link or you can see if you tap on it, you can also write down the meeting ID. Now if you want to change your display name, you can do that, you should just go ahead and delete all of this and write down your name and go ahead and click on join. If the interviewer or the host has kept a password, you can enter a password after asking him or her and then you can join the password. So if there are any events or meetings, you can just go ahead and go to join meeting directly and join the meeting in which you will need not need to sign up or sign in. So if you don't have a Zoom account, you can see the sign up option. You can just go ahead and tap on it and you can see your birth year must be added. Just go ahead and add your birth year and you can see that you can sign up using various options like Google, Apple, Facebook and SSO and even your email address. Let's go ahead and give an example by signing up with Google. Just go ahead and tap on continue with Google and this page will load up. Now what you need to do is select your Google account. After you select your Google account, click continue to sign in to Zoom. Wait for a while and then you will be signed in to Zoom. All you need to do is click on launch Zoom which is over here. Wait for a while and then you will be signed up for Zoom. If you want to get notifications from Zoom, you can see the enable notifications right here. If you want to do this, you can do it. But if you don't want any type of notifications, you can just tap not now. But what disadvantage this holds it, you will not get any kind of notifications about video calls, audio calls, chats or anything. So you can just go ahead and tap on enable notifications and tap allow Zoom to send notifications. You can see the make uh, scheduling simple option. You can add your calendar option. So some of the calendar options are Google, Microsoft and device calendar. Just go ahead and tap on connect to it. Wait for a while and it will be connected to your Zoom calendar. If you want to ignore it and want to choose 
Of course, later just go ahead and tap on not now. You can see that you can use the Zoom Workplace Pro for free as well. If you want to check it out, just go ahead and tap on it. And you can see that it is available on the monthly and annual basis. The annual version costs 12.499 per month or 149.90 per year. And you can see the monthly option is 14.99 per month. So you can go ahead and purchase the Zoom Workplace Pro for free as well. Or else just go ahead and tap not now, click get started. And there you go, you have now entered the Zoom interface where you can see the options of new meeting, join, schedule and share screen. If you want to host a new meeting, just go ahead and tap on new meeting and you can see the options of video on. Go ahead and enable or disable it according to your wish. And you can see the use personal ID option, go ahead and enable it if you want others to think that you are a legit person and your meeting ID will be displayed to them as well. Go ahead and tap a start a meeting option which is over here to start a meeting and instantly after that a zoom meeting will begin where you can share your info with others and you can invite them as well so you can go to participants over here and you can see the invite option tap on it and you can see copy link you can copy it and paste it and you can invite them you can also set a password for this meeting and only the selective people can join so in the meeting options you can see the unmute option start video option you can just go ahead and tap on this and click on OK and click while app. Now you can see that your audio is going through the voice of Zoom. If you want to turn on the video, just go ahead and tap on start video, click on while using the app. And you can see that you have now turned on the video. So to turn it back off, just go ahead and tap on it one time and you can see the audio and video has been turned off and you are still on the video call so you can see the participants over here you will see all of the participants over here if you are the admin of this video call or this meeting you can see the mute all options you can do this and click mute all and every participants on this meeting will be muted if you want to chat with others you can just go ahead and go to chats and start typing and they can see this chat and they can reply to it as well talking about reactions while your teacher is teaching you and you want to ask some questions you can click on raise hand and any other type of reactions which is over here so you can use this type of reaction to have an interaction with your teacher or your friends if you want to share your screen you can do that too on zoom as well you can see the share option over here if you want to share the whole screen you can just go ahead and scroll a bit down and find screen and start sharing your screen or else if you want to share individual items like onedrive sharepoint drive box photos ms from file documents and camera or whiteboard you can do that individually as well so this is uh, talking about the Zoom meeting. You can also scroll a bit there and find captions. You can click on show captions. So if someone is teaching you and you are confused about their pronunciations, don't you worry because Zoom AI will automatically give you captions. It will come a second or some seconds slow, but it will come indeed. So you can see the caption language over here as well. You can choose the language according to the native speaker. So this is about captions, talking about whiteboards, you can also start a new whiteboard. All you need to do is find whiteboard which is over here, tap on it, you can see the new whiteboard and existing whiteboards feature, go ahead and tap on it. As soon as you tap on it, you can see the whiteboard will appear and you can also find some templates. Now you can start writing and teaching to your friends or your students so you can see tap on share and you can share it later individually as well but if you want to quit it just go ahead and tap on cross and you are quitted by whatsapp whiteboard or zoom whiteboard so you can see the apps option over here as well so you can see there are a lot of different various apps you can use such as timers virtual background music group photo and all you can use this and some of the notes option are over here so if you are sick and tired of writing it on your copy and want to note down the notes while your teacher is teaching you can do that because zoom meeting has give you the option to do so so this is all about while you're in the meeting 
if you want to know more you can see the more options which is over here you can see there are some host tools over here some of the tools are lock meeting if you want to enable a waiting room you can do that as well so i'm going to show it to you again while you're on a call and you're the admin you can see the more options there are meeting settings you can go to meeting settings and you can see some of the host controls like meeting topic you can set this topic individually so if you're having a function of a dance party or a bachelorette party uh, let's go ahead and add something like a bachelorette party <laughs> and after that go ahead and click on save so you can see meeting topic has been added and you can see play join and leave sound you can enable it mute up on entry so if you scroll a bit down you can see on the general there are p uh there are options like always so meeting controls so name when participant joins so non-video participants stop incoming video so you can enable all of these and if you go to the host tools you can see some of the tools like lock meeting waiting room hide all profile pictures and uh, if you scroll a bit down you can see uh, under the allow participants to share screen chat with start video rename unmute share whiteboard share notes record to computer request to record and if you scroll all the way down you can see the remove participants and suspend participant activities you can also do this so if you want to finally leave the meeting click on end and you can see end meeting for all and leave meeting there are two things if you want to end the meeting for all you can do that or if you want the meeting to continue and only you must leave you can do that as well so go ahead and choose this and your meeting will be recorded if you had recorded it so you can find the join option over here if you want to join a meeting as i told you before you can do that from here as well and all of your schedules will be over here and if you want to schedule a meeting you can do that as well you can set the date from to time zone if you want to repeat it you can do it some of the attendees you can add the attendees over here and they will be displayed over here so if you want to use a continuous meeting chat and you want to make it reoccurring you can do that as well if you scroll a bit down you can see the security if you want to uh, add your security option you can do this and you can add your own passcode as well and you can see the enable waiting room you can enable waiting room which will make the user quite happy and easy because they will be ensured that the meeting will surely start talking about the meeting options you can see host videos on option and parties participant videos on you can enable this as well and that's quite it guys this is uh, talking all about zoom and how to use it if you see here you can see some of the options like team chat mail calendar you can go through it and you can find some of the functionalities of zoom you can do a lot of various things and explore a lot on zoom i hope this video was helpful for you i hope this video was helpful for you and please do make sure that you may mention us on the comment section down below if you have any sort of confusion like the video subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell button for more hope to see you in the next video as well until then goodbye take care and make sure you enjoy